Well, this controller has some problems. This joystick has some really bad wiggle to it. Uh, left, right, and down it's not so bad, but the up direction is a problem. As you can see on the screen, he's just sort of walking, as opposed to... He can run in the other directions, but forward is a no-go when we're trying to play games. What I want to do is take this apart and see if I can improve this analog stick at all without actually replacing any parts. Let's try wing screwdriver. Now this is strange. This one's a regular Phillips for some reason. That is loosey goosey. Now I'm just doing a Q tip in alcohol. Get some of that dust out. Right in there, we can see the plastic is flared up. That is wear from the black arm rubbing against it. And it is not as prominent on the other side. You can see the same wear, but to a lesser extent. I think. That just needs to be filled in somehow, but I think I'm going to have to take the switch off to do that for sure. To get at that thing, this black piece needs to come back. There's a clip here and here. The whole thing. Now we have access to these wires. got to come out of this little slot. Freeze up the motor. This comes around. Yep, same here. I'll leave these things dangling. What I have here is a very unprofessional hobby soldering iron. And the other thing I'm going to be using is this plunger solder sucker deal. And tap it through and she comes off. You can see I didn't really do a lot of favors to the circuit board. But alcohol on a q-tip and follow that up with a toothbrush. Dry into my q-tip and just kind of dry it up a bit. I'm really not too sure on how to take this thing apart. I'll just start trying a couple things feel like these sides should both oh yeah there's a small tab that I'm just pressing in and kind of prying out okay with those off what do I do okay so that's lifting up just straighten it out. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we'll pop out black piece and then the white piece both fingernails there we go you can see how there's quite a bit of plastic ground away this was the side facing the front you can see it's more worn in and this side is facing the back. So I, I think that might have been a part of the problem, but now that I'm seeing this in its glory, looks like we have a separate issue in here as well. This is what makes up your GameCube 
left analog stick. So I've cleaned everything up a bit and I think I found the crux of the issue. It's the fact that this can wiggle in the pivot so much this way. So this is the forward direction and that is where we have our really bad wiggle. And just looking at it, it is going into that groove where the wear has occurred over time. So I think if I can fill in that space, I'll have less of a wiggle. But also, the pins holding onto it, as you saw before, are a little messed up too. That could be an issue because it's falling down too much, making the wiggle worse, whereas if the pin was nice and centered up here, well, that might also solve our problem. The first thing I want to try is just build up a layer of super glue to take up some of that missing space that was wore away on this stick. So I'm going to try and just bring it down right on there. Okay, so that filled it up pretty good. A little bit overfilled actually, but it's leveling out. Put some baking soda on it to get the glue to dry a little faster. You can see that little dig is now filled with glue. So to get those pins to lock in there tighter, these wings on the side, I'm going to try basically the same thing. Just drop it in. A little bit of baking soda. Sprinkle it on. So I have my part, a bunch of excess glue. I'm going to take my handy X-Acto knife and just kind of shave off the excess stuff I don't need and start shaping this thing back into a good stick that'll fit in those pins more tightly. Here's the finished piece after whittling it with the X-Acto knife. Let's see how it fits into this piece. Got this back together with just hand pressure right now, but the spring's in place, so that feels quite a bit better in all directions. Let's put this thing back together the real way. That little dot in the metal enclosure facing the bottom right, we will get the small slotted nub onto the left side. There's a little tab on the black piece that should be facing towards you. Kind of hold that steady and you can bring in your spring piece. I'm holding the white cap and the spring together. Just set that on top. Then this guy, you might have to play around with the orientation on this. I already had it facing the correct way. Should just drop in and you'll feel that spring pressure. Push these tabs back down. You keep that press down. Let's make sure everything still seems okay. Let's see the wiggle. Not bad. See those move both directions. Time to solder that joystick back on. I would definitely encourage the optional step of cleaning all the controller parts while you're already in there. Start putting this back together. That's how much wiggle is left in it. Let's test this out. 
Looks like running works now. Everything looks good. Since it was super glue we used, um, that'll be, you know, rubbing against the plastic just like how it wore out originally. So I don't know if that's going to wear it out any faster uh, or what. But for now, I expect this will get a lot of use in the next few months. So I might do another update in a while if it either fails or lasts for a really long time just to let you guys know how it went. But either way, I hope this was helpful in trying to fix your own controllers. So thanks for watching.